good viewers at home this is Edward stitches you are welcome to my channel today um we'll be taking us on how to fix an um, invisible zipper using a black edge machine and what you are seeing here the result you are seeing here is a result of a uh, um, black edge machine i use a um, black edge machine to fix them um, this um, invisible zipper you see how lovely and neat and it is see how lovely and neat it is so today we'll be taking you on them um, how to make them um, use of a um, black head machine without an um, invisible zipper with ordinary footer to to make them um, this uh, lovely um, invisible zip if you don't have um, access to the um invisible zipper or um, using an um, industrial machine so you can achieve um, the same results with them um, this so um let's um, see how we go about it so please stay tuned to the end and see um how we make it if you are new to this channel please don't forget them um, to subscribe and then if you are returning to say a very big thank you to you and then don't forget to turn on the notification bell so, so that um, each time we upload a um, useful video like this you will have um, access to it thank you so much so let's go to the chase now and see how we make uh, this um, invisible um zipper using a um, black head machine stay tuned now let's go to the chase now so the first thing we are going to do is that we make sure that um, we um pull them our um fabric so um the way it's supposed to be so now let's take this one for instance now i have my top the um pipe has been made then the next thing is just to make sure that then you lay your um neckline you lift it very well so now at this point here i sew by half i use half to join it so the same thing you are going to do here you are going to put this one by half and iron it hope you are paying attention to that we are going to place this one by half iron it and then just in this place by iron whatever you use to join this that is uh, what you are going to use in folding this side so so i'll be folding this one soon by up i'm using half because i join by half So after having this, so the next thing is just to place it together. Hold this. Then you make sure this place is aligned. Then we'll tie on it. Neck now. Make sure that um, the neck is balanced. So before you fix your seat. So now this is what I have now. The next thing is now to fix my seat. How do I fix my um, zipper? How do I fix my zipper? I have um, the matching one. So I'm using this one. I don't want to use a navy blue. Because um, of this um, area, the zip is going to be shown here. So that's the reason I'm making use of this. If you like, you can make use of um, the matching color. So now, what you are going to do is this for your zipper. So you open it. Make sure you open it. Then you are going to iron it. Where do you iron? You see the teeth here. So you can see this place is very close. This place is close. You can see it's closed. Then you are going to open it. You open it and then you iron it. Let this place be open and iron. Then so that everything will be flat. So then another thing is that um, while fixing a invisible zipper, so make sure that um, you get a, very, a longer one. Not um, all these um, short one measured by nine, nine inches. All those one will give you problem. 
it is going to give you problem. Make sure that uh, you get a longer one for better result and then for continuity. Make sure you get a longer one. Size 16 is okay. So um, get longer one so that if you want to fix it, it is very easy for you to fix. So just open this. This is open now. So you open the other one too. Now to move on to our uh, mansion and fix it. So it will be very easy to pass through like that. So let's now go to the mansion and see how we fix it easily. So you are welcome to swing mansion. So um the front end area, the front panel, that is where you first of all attach your zipper to. Here's the front panel. That's the front. So now, now we have um, this that has been folded like this. So you are going to open it. Open it. Then you place them. Um, you can see this is um, our zipper. We have it this way. We have it this way. So you are going to place um, open it. Then open it. Then after opening it, then you place um, this one. Now we have um, the left side, we have the right side. So this left side that is where what you are going to place on this. Leave um, no allowance, you know, we have um, it is very long, so leave enough allowance so it will be very convenient. So you place a uh, the right side of this one on the right side of this you place it like this then you are going to sew it so while sewing it you make sure that um, just make sure that um, this place you can see this edge here that is where you place them um, this you place it very close let it be very close to it And then that is very close to it. So you can see I'm placing it on it. Then you are going to sew. Let your sewing be very close. You know you have opened it before. So that um, place where you opened, that is where you are going to sew. Do it gently. Do it gently. You place on this. You can see my this one might sit here. I place it on this. Just at the edge, very close. It is very along to it. And then you so gently. So you go gently like that. Don't let it clamp the teeth. So you should not clamp, clamp the teeth. So you can see this what I have. Let me show you what I have now. You can see. You see how close it is. You can see this. So then you open it. So the next thing we are going to do now is just to place the other one on it. Place the other one on it. So as you are placing this on it, make sure you mark a um, dark point. We are the meat here mark it you can use pencil you can use chalk 
So I'll be using pencil, mark it out. At this point, let it tally. Mark it out. Then you mark it at the other side here too. Mark it at the other side here too. Mark this place too. I can see this in fabric and here you mark it. So after marking, then you open up this again. Open this up. Then you place this. Now you are showing this thing this way. So for convenience sake now, you are going to turn it to the other side. Just hold them at this point now, where we marked here. Make sure you can see it is stylish here. Mark that one and then after this place we marked two. Make sure the two tallies this point that's the marked then at the point here. Make sure it is marked two at the back side here. Make sure it is marked two. Then after this, there are two ways to eat. There are two ways to eat up fixing this and back side. So the first thing is just to fix it from the front. You can do it this way. Make sure it's tall is like this. Then you can sew. Hold it like that and sew directly. You don't allow it to shift, you can sew directly. So while doing that, then we make sure that uh, this place tallies. Make sure that this place tallies. You can do that. And there is other way too. The other way is just that uh, you sew at the inner side. The other way around is that um, just place it like this. This other way, I think it is easier compared to the first one, but it takes some times. So you place it like this. You can see this is the front side of the fabric. So this is where you marked. Then you place it. Let it be very tall. Let it tall. So you place it here. Make sure that this stitch is on this end line. Then you place it here. Then you are going to sew. You are not sewing. You just want to use it to hold it down. You are not sewing directly to the um zip line zipper line so just hold it this way so just want to then while sewing it you make sure that um, this uh, this line is on the teeth of the zipper so you use your hand to hold it down and then just so make sure your hands hold them this one to the teeth line this line must be on the teeth line you see to place it on the teeth line and start to continue so So the purpose of this is just to hold it. Just use it to hold it. So that if you want to sew it from this side now, it will be very easy for us. It will be very easy for us. But then before you sew this thing completely, check it if uh, the point matches. Check it if uh, the pipe can check. Then if there is error gear, so you can quickly correct it before you do the final final sewing. So you check. So you can see. You can see that yes, it tallies. If I finally sew it, it is going to give me the result. So the next thing is um, to finally, I will now finally sew it now. I'll sew it finally.
I've checked and then if um, they are not tally, so you lose it and then you restore. So now let's show it very close to the teeth now. So let's now show this point. So it very close to the line now. So you can see that my final showing is now at this point, it's very close to this point. So the next thing is just to flip it and you will see the final results. You can see this is what we have at the end of the day. You can see the next thing is just for you to go to the man to the go to the iron and then we iron it. You can see how close it is. You can see that, um, except if you open this, that is when you are going to see that um, there is zip there, zip at there. So you can see how close it is now. You can see the results. You can see how close it is. So we we'll just iron it again so that um, this place will open very well. So let's see how we now close up this. You can see the results. So let's see how we close up this and uh, this one. So that's the next thing we are going to do now. So you will open it completely again. So now you start your sewing from this side, turn it, then we sew from here. Top stitch this. So why doing that then? Um, you let it be very close, you know, just the way you have shown this uh, this side. So just the same way. So let it be very close. So now the next thing is just this place. You cut them um, little of it away. You cut them um, part of it away, just little. So you leave the one that you are going to fold inside. So in this place, you can see, we fold this one inside. Fold this one inside. After folding it, then we fold this. You can see the way I folded it. So and you can see your son. So because I'm using them two thread now, so I'm going to change my thread here. So I'm going to so at this point, so at this point, you cut a um, little away so. So then at this point, just the same way, we are going to fold this one inside, then fold it this way, and then you sew on it. So you can see the result. You see the finishing. I see the finishing there. So this way, so this way. You can 
Okay, definition. I say the edge. So we can see this. So now let's uh, close it up. So when the zipper is very long, we get a better result. We are very confident to operate. So we can now do this. You can see, see the results. So you can only see that uh, you see this side, you see the sign of this side. So, so you can only see that uh, there is a group up here. And the next thing is just to uh, close it up here. So use the matching thread, although at the end of the day, I'm going to. So here is the result after the finishing. So you can see that um, after ironing, there is what you have. You can hardly see that uh, we put um, invisible there. You can hardly see it. So you can see the result. You can see how perfect and neat and everything is. So if you have found them, this video useful, and hopefully don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are returning, thank you so much. And then if you are new, um, to this channel, please don't forget them um, to subscribe and then don't forget to drop them um, comments in the comment section on how you feel about this um, tutorial. And then don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that um, each time we upload them um, video like this, you will have uh, access to it. Thank you so much for watching. Till um, next time when we shall be meeting, we say God bless. Thank you.